Okay. And it's usually right under here, the plates. I should be able to squeeze out some eggs. See, look at all the eggs I'm squeezing out of here. See the size of those eggs? She's full of eggs. If in Thailand, we'd be eating them. But uh, those are horseshoe crab eggs right there. And she's got lots of them. But she's something's not right. She's just not putting them down. Who knows? Maybe they know that bad things are coming and they don't need to... They shouldn't trust their babies to the... Uh, to a place that's about to get zapped with oil. But they want to come do something. You mentioned they're harmless creatures. Well, they're totally harmless. There's nothing that can hurt you. You see, they're... They come from a time when there were not really bad pinching crabs and things with bad claws around. But this is a wonderfully designed creature. See, she's got this rounded shell, so her predators, like sea turtles, loggerhead sea turtles, it would flip her over and eat her, can't get a bite on that shell. And sharks can't either, so they spend a lot of time buried down underneath. And uh, they have this mouth between the legs, and that's where they feed. And they're an absolute wonderful ad adaptation. Right like, under here are two little spots when they're young called the ventral eyes, and these pick up. Um, infrared radiation so that they can tell that a worm buried in the sand is up to you know a hundredth of a degree warmer and on the underside or the overside they have these three little median eyes over here that pick up ultraviolet radiation and so if it hasn't too hot or something's not right or, or just there's too much radiation in the water they can avoid areas and these are the lateral eyes and these pick up light in the visual range. They're seeing, you know, my shirt and the colors that it's in and everything else and your your shirt, so. And then they have these wonderful gills that they can hold water with. And they have all these little gill books in them. Each of these fine little things in here that will basically uh, mix oxygen with water. And they're just like the leaves of a, of, of a book. So horseshoe crabs are wonderful. How and old are they? One like this could be about five years old. How Three. old are they evolutionary? They go back, there's fossil records of horseshoe crabs 400 million years. There used to be many, many more species than there are today. Um, this American horseshoe crab almost always has these worms on them, flatworms, the Delora. See the little white things over here? And I'll pull some off, and they're on my fingers. They're just, uh, you'd never find these in nature outside of on a horseshoe crab. They don't seem to hurt the horseshoe crab. I don't know if it's a symbiosis or a parasitism, or I don't know if the crab gets anything out of them or not, but we just don't know. But I guarantee that if I scrub them off here, they're gonna find their way back to another horseshoe crab that they possibly can. That is if the birds don't eat the worms first, but it might happen.